What's up guys, Matthew from Massive Battles, and today I've got another episode of Top 5, the third episode. Glad to have gotten more than a couple episodes into this. Which is nice, I really, I do like these. Um, take longer to make, but still, they're fun. Uh, reasons for not uploading though, past week, because this should be, yeah, this is the one that's going up this week, was, uh, I hurt my wrist. It's feeling better now, but I didn't know when it would feel better, and I don't know how, like, bad it was. It just kind of hurt. So, like, really bad. <laughs> so, uh, I put off videos, because I was going, I'm going on vacation. I'm going on vacation, or not really vacation, I guess. Not really vacation, but I'm going out of town this weekend, and I'm going to be on for, like, three or four days. And last thing I wanted is to run out of videos. So I ended up just kind of putting all the videos back, so I'd have some for vacation and a bit after. So I'd have a buffer room to record for the entire week, or over a week that I'll be gone after that. Because I'll be gone from, like... Uh, the 9th or something, the Friday, I think it's the 9th, I think Friday's the 9th. I'm gonna go on, like, that Friday, though, around that time, up until, like, the next Sunday, a week after that, so, like, 10 days or so. So, yeah, I needed a buffer room so I could not have to make a video, upload that day, and then record for the entire week. I'd have, like, some for that, you know, just, yeah, that's basically why. So, let's get right into the top, uh, top five. Yeah. We do have an honorable mention this week, and that is 8145. Uh, this specific one is off the regular Guard Destroyer. Um, I think 8145 is really cool. It looks kind of like armor, which is what, it, what it's supposed to be. It's armor defense 145. Uh, it's aerodynamic, and it's good for stamina. I think Wing 145 outclasses it now, but I've had a lot. Of, I've used this a lot in stamina combos like a long time ago with Phantom and stuff, and I really, I really like using it. It's really cool looking, and it's really good. So yeah. 8145 is an honorable mention. So, starting off this list at number 5 is C145. Um, C145 is really cool. I always like the claws. But my Sagittarius, including my friends, have broken easily the spike tips, which means you have to put a different tip on it or find a new spike tip. Sagittarius also has stamina bay. Stamina bays are kind of boring. So, I have never really been able to use C145 too much. Because, the, and my old one broke too. This isn't even my regular original one. I had to double back Sagittario. So I just haven't really gotten to use it that much. I don't use Sagittario that much because it's a stamina bay. I don't put this in combos because there's just other things I'd rather put. So really, I've never gotten to use it as that much. I think it's a really cool part, but I just haven't gotten to use it as much as other parts on this list. So it's only number five. Number four on this list is H145. That's not as focused as I thought it'd be. There we go. H145 is really cool. It's bullhorns. And they stick out, and they're really cool looking. Biggest problem with this is H145 is prone to breaking because it sticks out so much, and it's not that strong. Uh, we had a stadium with a, it was a metal bull, and bull would do this spin around crazily, and we called it Bull Rage, and it was really cool. And I had another stadium, the Zero G on the BB-10. I was doing bull in that, and it broke. And that is not my other, only H145 that's broken. I had another one. So, yeah, that was my one original, and then the one that in the other stadium that broke was another one like this. So I've had two of these that have broken. And because of that, I kind of have to be, I feel like I need to be really careful with it, and that kind of brings it down on the list uh, compared to other things. So, number three is GB145. Uh, GB145, I always really liked because it had the metal balls in it, and I thought they were really cool. So you can see them just spinning around. You shake it, and you can hear them. So I've always liked this one. I thought it was really cool. Um, it really helps with Virgo too because it helps keep BS on balance because it's just it's pretty defense. It's a pretty defensive spin track. It's kind of hard to get under. So I mean, it's again, it's not like competitive wise. I guess as good as something like BD145 or something, but it is still pretty defensive. It also can be used like with flash and attack, so it has competitive use. Um, I really, oh, I, but yeah, I've I've always liked this one. I just think things like this. Really, really fascinate me, having something like metal balls in the thing that move. That's there's not much else to add. <laughs> I really like the metal balls in it. Coming in at number two on the list is R145. So R145 is uh, full name is Rubber 145, and it's made of a rubber. All this orange is rubber. And I think that's really cool. I never thought they'd ever make a, a rubber piece like this. But it's really they did, and it's really cool. Uh, I think it's used a bit in limited format or something for attack. But uh, yeah, 
there's not much to say. I really like the fact that it's river, and I think this is one of the coolest things ever in Beyblade, that they have a river spin track. And because of that, it is number two. Yeah, not much else to add. I really like the river. And last but not least, number one is ED145. Specifically Ares. When I was, uh, I don't know, however old I was, five years ago, got into Beyblade, I went to Toys Us and I got this Rock Ares Bay, and it had a part that spun, and I was fascinated, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever, and I would constantly spin it whenever I had Ares near me, because I thought this was really cool. Uh, there's not much else to say, it's not actually used for anything, and it's outclassed by a lot of things. Uh, it's not really the greatest part in the world, but it spins, and that's it was the first part that I knew of that spun. It looks cooler than the other ones that spin, and that's enough to put it at number one. So that concludes my list. Uh, I hope you didn't mind the not super great. I wonder if this concludes better. No, I can't. Uh, not my super great reasoning, but when it comes to spin tracks, I really like the cool looking things and the slightly, I guess, gimmicky things in a way. Like ED145, because it spins. But yeah. Um, thinking about trying to change up the setup every now and then. Probably won't be till. It probably won't be till maybe after next week or something, or the week after, because I'm going to have a bit two. Two of these are going to be up while I'm on vacation, so it just kind of depends, I guess, which one, if I want to switch it. I'd rather, I kind of want to switch it up a bit, maybe. Just added a couple of me those. Um, between, like, sets, I guess, you know, like, favorite series, favorite type, you know, my favorite part for each part of the bay. But, uh, since I'm going on vacation, I might put that off, like, a week. I don't know. Um, there will be a poll in the description, uh, that will be if you'd rather see, after tips, uh, my favorite bays by series, or my favorite bays by type. So, you know, like Metal Fusion, Metal Masters, or like Balance, Defense, etc. So, uh, there'll probably, yeah, there'll be a poll, probably Google Plus, so people on Google Plus can see it too, who don't watch the video. Um, so yeah, that really concludes it. Uh, I'll probably have an update out sometime, hopefully soon. <laughs> explaining uh stuff going on but so i won't try to say it in this so yeah hope you guys enjoyed put your own lists in the comments below and i'll see you guys next week or actually probably tomorrow <laughs>